How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that someone has pointed out that I can actually change the resolution of this game, uh, which I didn't realise because I'm a bit of an idiot. So, thank you Katniss for pointing that out to me. Uh, on the last episode, we met, well, we met some people and we found out some shit about some people. So, let's continue. Before I do anything, though, I thought I could give her a chocolate bar. Maybe I can't do that yet. Let's go through this door. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. For fuck's sake, I was getting all excited thinking that could be the good start of, uh, of today's episode. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. No, drugs are bad. Lee? Clementine. Yeah? You're not bad, right? No, I... I uh... I'm, I'm good. I'm a good guy. That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he, I'm not going to lie to you, Clementine. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I'm going to be a good guy, Clementine. It's you and me forever now. I have to tell you the truth. Right, I th suppose all we can actually do now is just go outside for a romantic candle lit what candle lit walk? What am I talking about? Moonlit walk. With this guy. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Let's do this! Hello. Jesus. Yes. Hey, where are those people? I want to hug them and kiss them and bite their lips. Oh, God. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. I think you might be right, Doug. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Right. So, what have we got? We've got a brick. You can't reach that brick. You can't reach the brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. So there must be somebody else. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Yeah, that's that's very true. Uh, How'd you end up here? Let's just chit chat. I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? I did. You were my parents. Yeah, I did. Good people. Come on, let's, let's do more. More conversing. Oh no, there's no more conversing to be done. Right, so... Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It doesn't look like it worked. What's... Look at the one trapped over there. It says Everett. <laughs> B. Everett. Oh, he's not our brother, is oh, he? shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Very possibly. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, Doc. Don't worry, Lee. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could 
somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, that's convenient that I found this photograph. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Look, photograph. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Just trust me, you dick. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Is there a way to... what's that? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh dear. So, Tim's tool store, bad. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. So... Is that it then? Can I just open the gates? Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Oh, for fuck's sake, Doug. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. You're an absolute dick, you know that? The streets are too full of those things to get out there and search for those keys safely. Totally. Maybe they could be lured around the building or something. You go run out there and lead them away? <laughs> you don't seem like the high school track type. I am fleet of foot. The distraction's not bad, though. Yeah, and I just walk everywhere, so I can't do it. Um... Is... Is that it? Is that all I can do? It's a combination lock. It is a combination lock. So... I suppose we'd better do that one. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay, well that was worthwhile. That was a worthwhile use of my time. Thanks a lot, Doug, you arse bandit. So... Hey there. Uh, oh. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. I'm here, Glenn. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Looks so. <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Somebody does have you. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Good. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Wait, how are we even gonna get out? Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna give Clementine some food. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. That's all right. So who else is there? I could give food to. Do everyone else is adults? He's a kid, but he is quite annoying. I'm. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna give Doug, uh, Duck, the food. It's not much, but here, for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It's not who I usually am, giving food away to children. That's not me. So... And Carly, fine. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Yeah, what the fuck? I've already given her some food. I'm not allowed to give her two pieces of food. You ready to head out? 
You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this! I don't know how we're getting outside, but never mind. Get down. How the fuck didn't we see him? Don't make a noise. Hey guys, I think there was someone over here. I'm not too sure where they are though. Is that Glenn on the floor? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus Christ! Fuck's sake, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was being- A girl, eh? I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Yes, true. Uh, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. She better not like already be bitten though, for fuck's sake. I, I don't understand what's happening. So two there, one there, some dude chilling by the car. Guy having his evening snack. And Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Right. So let's We can hide by that pickup. Okay, let's go to the pickup then. Because this isn't obvious at all. Right, is there? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Right. Okay. So, what's in here? I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I don't know. Have a fucking look. Stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah, I don't think I can. Ow! Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, that maybe wasn't my uh, brightest of ideas. Let's go back to the brick wall. We're really not very discreet running backwards and forwards across this. What's that? Sorry, I'm getting cut off mid uh, mid sentence. A pillow, okay. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Yeah, shut up, Carly. For fuck's sake. Let's get over here. I'm surprised you haven't seen me yet, since this is, seems to be all I'm doing. Right, so can I? Over here and use the pillow with the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Can't I? What are you gonna do with that? I just really smash the window. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Wait. I... I've got an idea. I have an idea. You. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Okay, the car is definitely locked. Uh, Can't I... Can't I just steal your gun for a second? Is there anything else I can do around here? I wanna like done trying to punch out window. Well use the pillow and punch the window with the pillow. 
What are you gonna do with that? For fuck's sake. I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Right, change of plan, because that apparently doesn't work. My new plan will be to... I'm not convinced I can smother that zombie to death. I don't think so anyway, can you? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Oh, here we go. Hi dude. Um Bye bye dude. That was sick. Oh my god, I'm smart. I'm so smart. Right. So now I can open this door and just drive away. Spark plug! Come on, take the goddamn spark plug. I don't really know what I need this for just yet, but gear shift! It's a spark, thing. spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. You got it, man. So... Push the car at, at the zombie. Bye, mate. Oh, that is unlucky. That was unlucky. I'm like some kind of secret ninja, badass ninja, ninja dude. So let's use the spark plug on the window. Let me see the spark plug. Okay. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Does it? Let's use the spark plug on the window then. Ah, uh, uh, hey, it wasn't me. Don't, don't look this way. That's it, you keep... As long as she keeps making a noise, I'm happy. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Good, 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 good. So, who have we got? I reckon we need to go back this way. I'm pretty much done now, surely. And then, can I not have a little jog over to here? And he won't be able to see me because he's a moron. Why can't I see? No, I want to stab the zombie. Okay, maybe it's this zombie I need to stab. Here we go. See you later, zombie. Hey, get that thing out of my face. Please, get him. Uh, sorry, man. I I didn't realize nice. this guy would would for my back. come after. For sure. It. We're doing pretty well, though. We're like sneaky ninjas. Uh, um, I don't think. I d oh, what? Sorry, man. That was kind of unfortunate, but. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? What are you talking about, Carly? We're bonding. Bonding over zombies. Two more. That should help. Yeah, I'd agree with that. They've, they've been dying in fairly quick succession. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Okay, watch my back, guys, because I anticipate something's going to go wrong. Hello, zombies. 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 
Zombies. Hello. Goodbye. And what about you? Come on then, you motherfucker. Oh. Rat. Off with your head. Uh, hello, lady. Are you wanting to be rescued? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Are you okay? If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Uh, she kept saying no. Is this a wise idea? <laughs> Apparently it is. Please don't shoot me or something. Stop, just stop. What? I'm coming out. What's the matter? You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. Oh, we need to get you help. She's been it's bitten. Too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. Yeah, we need what? to kill her. I told you I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. No. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. Yeah, Glenn. It's not Christian. Stop being a little bitch. Please, just leave me. Please go. It's not Christian. What are you talking about? Um, what if you... What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen. That's to a good me. point. We're idiots. Sorry, lady. You have a gun. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, yeah, I can't. don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Let's be reasonable here. I. Uh, Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Oh. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. This tree. Okay. Fine. You need to die, and you want to do it yourself, so. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. Don't worry about it, lady. You can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. Yeah. You two go on. Okay. Glenn, you're such a little you pussy. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, it was my decision, apparently, to give her the gun. Um I'm here with you. I'm here with you. You're a good man. I know. See you later, lady. So, that gunshot has presumably just attracted all the zombies that we were trying to avoid. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. Yeah, we're good. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay. Right. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's uh, It's been a bit more exciting than the last time. We've tried to get in the locked door, we've gone for a walk outside with Doug and figured out we can't actually do anything so I'm not too sure how we're going to actually get those keys from Lee's brother who is now a zombie and we've murdered another girl. Well murders, murders maybe not the right term to use but we're the reason she's dead now so yeah it's all good. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and comment, if you want to subscribe that would really help me out, and as always guys, stay fabulous, bye!